Welcome back to the sixth episode of a close combat longest day playthrough with the Germans in the Grand Campaign on Elite Difficulty. And this time we're at Pegasus Bridge. Um, with some Ostruppen defending it against uh, British paratroopers. Now this, uh, I feel like our worst enemy here will be the lack of ammunition as the game progresses. We have four MG troops, four regular Ostruppen. One heavy MG, an anti-tank gun, and a command team. And that is all that we have. When I played with the Allies, sir, uh, the Germans had a lot more available. They had reserves. They could fill out all the slots. But it's just um, a result of the difficulty I'm playing on. If I kept the Allies set up like this, it would be a lot easier to fight them. But of course, I'm going to give them the best chance that I can. So we're going to... Give them a section of Bren H or Bren groups and one with the rifle groups and I mean pretty standard setup what I usually go with I guess kind of like this and uh, that should be pretty decent let's just get to it so I mean we got them pinned in in this area and we will be digging trenches on day one uh, on this defense so that's something to keep in mind as well I'm uh, just trying to look and see where I might want to put things. I for sure want an MG team in this uh, poor sods house. But where do I put the anti-tank gun though? Let's see. Uh, I mean maybe inside a building. Can we do that? Yeah. Can I actually fire out from here though? Very limited. Come on, you can do this, you can be alive. There we go. Alright, okay, well, uh, hmm, that wasn't too good either, actually. Can I move it anywhere in here? Like, just slightly reposition it? Alright, so this isn't a very good placement for the gun either. But... I mean, it can shoot the people as they try to advance up towards poor Sod's house, so it might not be a bad position after all. Uh, if we can get the MG-34 maybe placed in there with the anti-tank gun, they should hopefully be able to deploy better. Not on the first floor of the building, but the second floor. And then should have good cover with the 2,500 rounds. Reasonable coverage anyway. And if we can get a couple of MG troops in here, would be good. Thing is, they have limited ammo, 40 rounds of rifles, 188 on the MG, so... It's not like they can sustain fire for a long time, but let's just get two MG groups in the building here. So we have a bit more ammo to uh, spend on our... Well, on shooting the enemy, basically. Put an MG team over here as well. And let's see, I would like maybe to have one Ostruppen MG team in the forest here, just to prevent enemy breakthrough. Uh, Sug trip over here. And maybe another Ostruppen team here. I'm trying to put them in places where it's likely they will actually dig a trench. Uh, so yeah, like three Ostruppen teams just in the forest here, hopefully digging trenches. And then... We'll kind of take it from there. And we have another couple of us to open. I think I'll leave one group a little bit further back just in support should there be like a breakthrough here. The rest will be a lot harder for the enemy to push on. And then we have this last us to open team here, which I think we'll just put uh, inside this cafe over here. Yeah. Okay, well, let's begin. Yeah, three trenches dug. Fantastic. So we got them down at least. And now we wait. Not sure why the scrolling in this game is a bit laggy sometimes. Particularly if there's a lot of lighting effects going on. It just is what it is, I guess. Like, the game itself isn't lagging. It's just the scrolling part of it. It seems to lag sometimes. Either way, in about like 30 seconds a minute, I suppose the enemies will start moving in. We do not have any mortars this time, so we can't like stir up the hornet's nest at all, but 
We do have a lot of stuff though. Well, not a lot. Uh, the enemy has four teams more than us. But we are defending, and I think our defensive lines are fairly decent. So with the Sug trip here, they can probably use the SMG as the enemy comes pushing in here, so we can have two of those. Uh, which makes them pretty incapable at long range fighting, but... but ah, there we go. First sign of movement. And they are getting it. Very nice. Probably a massive waste to fire off illumination right now, but... I don't know. Okay, they're trying to cross the river over here as well. With several teams. We're gonna illuminate this, actually. So we have an easier time of actually taking on these guys pushing in there. Yeah, we're taking some damage from the enemy mortars, which sucks, but... We're kind of holding this back here, at least. I don't think to do better at it, but... Okay, I'll just put them on defend rather than tell them specifically what to shoot that dude to the limited ammunition. The anti-tank gun is in action. This MG here might be able to get some shots in on this one dude. I can't see, okay. Uh, well, he's blind firing at this at least. I mean, so far, so good. Maybe use the MG to shoot something a bit closer up here, like these guys. Yeah, well, we've taken a few casualties. Primarily the enemy mortar fire, I believe. Yeah, engage this rifle group pushing in there, guys. Come on, don't let them get in grenade range. Fuck them up, fuck them up, fuck them up. Can we fuck them up from over here too? Please do if you can. Okay, they're just trying to run past everything. That didn't really work out for them. Put the guys back on the phone. I mean, we're doing okay in this area at least. But I think the worst thing that can happen is we run out of ammo and can't keep defending due to that. But uh, let's hope it, you know, it doesn't come to that. Okay, another mortal hit. That's primarily what's been doing damage to us so far. I saw a muscle flash around there. It's a fish. Nah, I probably don't want to waste the uh, cannon ammo. Only got 14 high explosive rounds left. Best, uh, best keep them, I guess. This could still go on for a while. Well, it looks like we've foiled the initial attack attempt here, at least. Uh, we've taken out almost three infantry squads, although none of them are actually entirely dead. wonder what the last guy in this is. Has he gone past here or something? Or... I don't even know. Yeah, what I'm going to do though, sneak these... Let's collect a bit there. Onto the waypoint. I'm going to sneak them up, take the crossroad and hold these bushes up. As it looks like we're found in the hole, holding this area. Uh, one more dead guy, but there's more in the group he came from, so... MG ammo here, well, we are low on ammo. We've used about, like, a little bit more than half our ammo total among the two MGs. We have wiped out a brand in a rifle squad trying to attack, though. And... We're probably some stuff going on here. Okay, we got more movement. Uh, so I think we're just going to keep holding and uh, fending off these waves. And maybe at some point we can do a counter attack. Where is this MG located for them not to be able to shoot after? Seriously? What the fuck are they set it up? It's like the AI knows exactly like that. Like one more meter to these, so they will be in range. I mean, uh, the MG is just in a ridiculous position, like inside the building or something. And not looking out the window properly. Now we should be able to open up on these guys. For sure these guys are running over here. 
There we go, that guy with a blind file. Ah, now we can shoot for these guys. Well, I guess let's do it. Well, when it comes to illumination, are these guys firing at all? Yes, I guess they are. Let's switch it over to defend again. Well, I'm confident we're at least going to be able to hold. And you see, there's like one lighting effect going around on the map, and it just really makes the scrolling lag. Don't want to return fire too much when there's lightning here. It could make my NG team get hit. And I just would rather really like to avoid that if possible. What do we have? It's like dead brand group. Dead group here, dead group there. Right? There's three teams down basically. Four or five. So we've taken out a third of the enemy force. Roughly. Maybe a bit more actually. But we could stand taking out a bit more before actually counter-attacking them. If it's even going to come to that at any point in time. I would like for it to actually come to that, but we might want to wait for daytime. If we can't inflict sufficient amounts of casualties. As we see how the, uh, these guys are out of MG ammo. Which will be a continuing problem, I believe. But we've been doing good so far defending. We've taken three casualties, four casualties across the board. All of which are downhill due to mortar fire. And the enemies let off the mortar fire a bit, so maybe we're good. But yeah, due to this being a night engagement, uh, the enemy is struggling to hit, and uh, so are we. Ah! And we'll take more. Actually, I'm going to ask for truce so we don't lose those gunners. I don't think we're counter-attacking. As long as we can hold. And right now, if we look at our uh, casualties, so uh, this is strip, and we can replace these casualties. Same here, same here. Like, we haven't actually lost an entire team. Uh, we've just taken some casualties that are replaceable. And while we have still all these teams intact, can replace the casualties and not have less of a fighting ability next time around when it's going to be daytime, uh, we're just going to truce it, preserve our fighting capabilities, and fight them under better circumstances, aka in daylight. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, I would appreciate if you left a like on it, maybe even subscribed if you haven't already. And with that being said, well, as always, you can catch me in the next one. Have a good one.